Hello everyone and welcome to one of my favorite times of the month. I've got my boxy charm here to open with you all. Time is flying by. I feel like this is so early, but we are halfway through February. So tis the time. Let's go ahead and open up my boxy charm. I'm trying to remember why I was looking. I think I needed to check to see a product. In any case, I had to look on boxy charm to look something up for one of my info boxes or whatever here on YouTube, and I kind of spoiled this box for myself. So stupid. But you know, they they do differ. Boxes do differ, so I don't know that I'm gonna get those products, but the only one that I actually do remember, so I really didn't spoil it for myself, actually, now that I think about it, there's one product that was shown that I've already tried and tested and don't like, so I hope I don't get that product, but if I do, I mean, not the biggest end of the world, the biggest end of the world. Anyways, guys, BoxyCharm. It's a monthly beauty subscription, if you didn't already know. And depending on what subscription you choose, that will make a difference on what the price is. But it's around 21 bucks a month. You get nothing but full-size products in these boxes from lots of different brands, some that you probably do know about, and some, you know, I always like finding new brands in these boxes as well that I haven't heard about. I do also always have my referral link down below if you want to use that. Uh, but let's see, you guys. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, so I did. I did. I got I got the thing. The thing that darn it. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll just I'll give this to one of you all. This is the Touch in Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. Smooth and pore covering top secret for perfect makeup. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a really good primer. And it's really punny. No pore bloom, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's great. It's also really hard to say. Unfortunately, this broke me out like absolute crazy, like really, really bad. <laughs> so I personally can't use that, but if you want to see my review video, I'll have it linked up in a card here and also down below for you if you want to go and see how it performed on me. It looks like the theme this month is Afterglow. All right, BoxyCharm. All right, the next thing that I saw, we've got something from a pharmacy called Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. Ultra Gentle Facial Cleansing Gel that washes away oil, impurities, pollution residue, and makeup. Mm. Interesting. We'll be able to test that out. Let's see. There is a safety seal. I guess I'll, I'll wait until later. I just wanted to smell it. But all right. I appreciate that it's ultra gentle. Otherwise, I would be super wary of trying that out. I just have very sensitive skin. Now let's see. Oh, oh, oh. We have got, oh, have I tried this one? <laughs> If I own this one, I'm gonna have to check. This might be a different shade, but this is a pretty vulgar highlighter. Shimmering Swan 126 Glow Up. I think these are called the Shimmering Swan highlighters, and that's making me think I already have this one, but I don't think I have the shade Glow Up. That is very fitting for this box of Afterglow. Either way, these are really, they're good highlighters. So that's nice. And then it looks like we've got a mascara. Oh yeah, I must have, I blocked it out of my memory. <laughs> I did remember this was also in it. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. That one I am also going to be putting in a giveaway because I don't really care for that mascara. Uh, just doesn't work great for me. It just doesn't. I will throw a card up in the corner again and link you to the video in case you want to see how that mascara performs and everything. And then last but not least, we have a Trustique Prime and Color Lip Glaze in the shade English Rose. This looks very pretty and it says there is a primer inside. Let's see, ooh, interesting shape. I don't think it has a scent to it. It looks like a very, very pretty color. I also love <laughs> that these are magnetic. Uh, let's see, is it like a screw off? No, oh, cute. Oh, that's, that's cute. I must touch it. it feels like maybe a lip balm. I also don't think that has a scent to it. Okay. Woo! So, <laughs> I'm really excited about the lip product. Yay! I doubt- is this a $20 lip product? Maybe. But yeah, I mean the face wash and the highlight and the stick. You know, this is actually- this is the first box I think I have ever gotten from BoxyCharm that does not have an eyeshadow palette in it. I'm actually a little shocked because I thought that was like kind of BoxyCharm's shtick. But either way, all right, the Trustee Crayon is. It's $25 normally retail. So yay 
money's worth if this works. Also the highlighter, 32 bucks, and like I said, these are good highlights. So initially off the bat, not my favorite, but I know a lot of people love this mascara. It is, it's a cult classic. And then, like I said, this primer is actually really good. It just breaks me out, so I can't use it. But yeah, I guess I will see you all tonight and we can use this face wash together. And then I will see you all tomorrow and we can put these things on. I mean, I say it tonight and tomorrow like it makes a difference to you guys. It doesn't. It'll be just a second here in YouTube land. Here on YouTube land. In YouTube land? I guess it works either way. <laughs> Ready? Ding! So, so <laughs> I think based on what I said earlier, you were probably expecting me to be ready to wash off my makeup that I was wearing in the intro of the video. Well, that just, it didn't end up happening. But I am here to put on these two products with you guys and then tonight I will actually, you know, in the next snap transition or one of these upcoming snap transitions, I will be washing off this makeup with the face wash. You know, sometimes that's just how things work out. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. So we will get you zoomed in a bit here. I am ready to put on highlight. I did go ahead and check and this is indeed a different shade than the one that I own, the one that I own, oh, what it, it was like glimmer of BS. It was like a pinky silver, I think. This is more of a golden peach. So we shall see. I am excited to put this on my face. Like I said, it is a good highlight formula. I think a bit overpriced. What did they say? These are 36 bucks. I would put them more at like 25, 26 bucks. But you know, sometimes that's just life and oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, so pretty in real life. It's, uh, I don't really see much of the peach showing up on my cheeks, but wow, it's intense. It's very much just like a gold sheen. Yeah, I know I always say these things are intense and you're like, I can't see anything. Well, you just gotta trust me on this one. Hopefully you'll be able to see it a bit better this time. But yeah, that's just, ooh, ooh, lovely. It is just fire on the cheeks. And really, like I said, in real life anyways, that is a highlight. It's very, very intense. And I hardly put any on. Whew, let's, let's get some blush on here. There we go. Pow! Pow! Can you guys, I hope you can see it. Now we have got the lip color. Oh, but first we have got the primer. Just this itty bitty baby thing. It, oh, it does screw up. Oh, that's nice. So there is a little bit more than I thought there was. It's still not like huge or anything, but just for the lip, lip primer, I'm assuming it's more of a lip balm than anything, but there we go. Okay, no, it actually really doesn't feel like a lip balm. <laughs> I really don't think there's any scent. It's just, it's not uh, hydrating like a lip balm. It, I guess it kind of feels like one just sitting on top of the lips, but the one thing I will say, I hate that you can't screw this all the way down because even though I love this magnetic closure, I get real scared that it's gonna nick the edge of it, but I guess with time that'll get better. So the shape of this is a bit strange, but let's see, we're just gonna... Swipe it on. There we go, pretty, pretty color. Did go on a little bit sheer. I'm not sure if that's because of the primer or not, but I was certainly able to get that to build up and it feels really nice and comfy on the lips, not heavy or anything. So yeah, there we go, you guys. That's all put on those couple of products. We tested them like usual. I will check in so that we can test out the lipstick in terms of I will be eating today, you know, like usual. So before and after meal and that sort of a thing, just whenever I feel like I need to check in. So I will see you all when I check in with you next. See y'all in just a second here. Ready? Ding. Yay. So to my mom's place. Now I get to awkwardly film while she watches me from across the counter. <laughs> Lipstick though. We are about to eat. It's so awkward. <laughs> it's like it's settled into the lines of the lips a little bit. A little bit. Now here's the gourmet cuisine, home cooked. Okay. <laughs> Coco wishes.
Oh. She could have a delicious salad. Go, go. Hey, cutie. And what about Ted? <laughs> 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 so we've got the berry salad. Oh, nice. I got one of the world's smallest chocolate covered strawberries. Perfect. Yeah, yours is bigger. That's okay. What is it called? The ultimate, ultimate grilled cheese. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's so good. So I'm going to devour this and ruin my lipstick. And then I'll be back. Sound good? Yeah. Yay! All right, dinner has been eaten, and the lipstick, I, I didn't think it was going to last. There is a faint glimmer, sure, there's, there's a little bit still, you know, outlining, but this time around I'm going to try not using the primer and just putting it on over this. I actually like that a lot better. It's a lot more uh, lipstick-like, a lot more opaque, and it just looks like it's going to be a lot more secure. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on with get on with things, and I will see you all at the very end of the night. Ready? Ding! All right, my friends. It is the end of the night here. It's been about six hours, and I. Certainly, I, I'm actually surprised you can see as much of the lip product as you can because it basically feels like I hardly have any left. But that being said, I mean, I, it, it's it's an okay lipstick. Would I go out and buy more of these? Nope. But uh, I'm happy to have this one and I think it's a really pretty color. I think it performed decently. It was a decent lipstick. The highlight is also still going strong on my cheeks. So that's exciting that the formula seems to be consistent across the brand anyways in terms of these two highlighters. Yeah, I am very excited to take off all of my makeup. I did test out a foundation and concealer today. So if you want to watch that video and you haven't already, I'll throw a card up in the corner for you. But I'm, I'm ready to wipe this off and wash my face and put on a lot of zit cream. You want to come do that with me? I think, I think it'll be a great time. Right, so that was equal parts horrific and exhilarating for me. I hope it was for you too. Now it is time oh, for probably the worst lighting ever, but hey, you can see my back. That's so exciting, right? Well, I mean, I hope it's something. It's time to test out this face wash, my friends. I looked online and a lot of people had gone from BoxyCharm onto Pharmacy's website. I just wanted, you know, to check to see if there was any special way of using this or anything. But so many people had said that they like, they went and that they reviewed this and they said that they had gotten it in their BoxyCharm and they fell in love and it's the best ever. So I'm excited. To test this out. So yeah, I, I'm gonna wash my face. <laughs> I'm especially excited because like I'm pretty sure I said when I unboxed this because it says right on the front here, this is extra gentle. It's super good apparently for sensitive skin and my skin is recently recovering or it is recovering from a recent uh, really bad breakout. So anything to not further break my skin out is a huge plus and win in my book. So just gonna wash my face like I would with any other face wash. Just to have. Oh, it does! It's so nice. It just makes me feel like brands care. <laughs> it smells mostly good. I would just say don't take deep huffs of this stuff. Uh, I had read that it's got, uh, I'm pretty sure, one of the main ingredients, or at least they had it listed as like a powerhouse ingredient, was turmeric. And uh, I can smell that a little bit for sure. And then there's a bunch of other stuff in here too. But it mostly smells like clean soap. And honey. There's a bit of a honey smell in there as well. It, uh, it's... It's not my favorite scent in the world, I'm not gonna lie, but, you know, it's all good. It's, I will survive. Considering all the sulfur masks and stuff I have sat through in my life, this is nothing in comparison. So, let's see how this 
foams up, if at all. I don't know why. Is it a foaming cleanser? No. Okay, great. And there we have it, my friends. It worked like my normal face wash so far, so yay. Ah, uh, freshly washed and hopefully slightly better lighting here anyways. Uh, my skin, it does, it feels, it feels quite soft. So I'm, I'm down, I'm down to keep on testing this out. Overall, I feel like I kind of touched on this, but certainly not my favorite boxy charm. but that's purely, I think, because I test out a lot of makeup here on my channel. So like I said, I already had a couple of these items. However, I was excited to test out the three that I hadn't tried yet, or I suppose the two that I hadn't tried yet, plus the one thing that I had already tried, but it was in a different color. Uh, the lip product, well, it's not a waste. I can absolutely see myself using that in the future. I wouldn't say it added value to my box because I can't see that being like a favorite formula of mine. I mean, who knows? Time will tell. But in any case, certainly so far, I would say this cleanser and then certainly that highlighter. That highlighter was gorgeous, performed very, very nicely. So I mean, those technically make up for the price of my boxy charm. So all is not lost. You know, it was still fun to test all this stuff out with you guys. Certainly let me know in the comments down below, A, if you get boxy charm, and if you do A.1 or A.2, let me know. Did you get these same products, different products? How did you feel about the products that you've got, etc.? Also, let me know if you do not get boxy charm. Why do you wanna? I truly do. I just I love hearing from you guys and getting all of your opinions and everything down in the comments below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in seeing whether or not boxy charm is something that you're gonna want to get in the future, or if these products are things that you maybe want to try out for yourself. You can do that by giving me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you are new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. Until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!